Genetic fallacy occurs when somebody judges a claim, idea or argument based solely on its origin rather than on its content or merit. The idea came from a bad source, so it must be false. The idea came from a good source, so it must be true. So if let's say we have C, which is the uh, claim or proposition, which is the correct term. And let's say we have a source, which is source of claim. We need to have our first bit of predicate here. So if we know how to read predicates, it's going to be claim C originated from source S. And then we're going to, I'm not going to write that out. And then we're going to have bad S, which means source S is unreliable or bad. Uh, then we're going to have good S, which is source S is reliable or good. And then we can have, let's say, TC, which is claim C is true. So let's say we have a negative bias. We can write that as from C, oh, C, S, and bad S, if then, not T, C. So a bad source must be false. Let's use a positive bias which is from CS and a good source, if this, then T. Oh, why do I keep writing uh, C's and S's? So a good source, it must be true. So democracy is a valuable system of government so a response to that would be, well, democracy was invented by slave-owning Greeks, so it must be inherently flawed. This doesn't mean that if something comes from a bad source that it's false, or that it's a good source that it's good, you just need to check what that source is. So it could be the case that something true could come from a bad source, but that source is some hacky website or whatever, but it doesn't necessarily make it inherently false based on the source alone.